What's going on guys? Bradley Martin here and today I'm giving you guys a back routine. Uh, a little bit more volume in this routine, uh, more bodybuilding style, so I hope you guys like it. And if you don't, then you can just put hashtag Fuck Nadine because it was his idea to do this workout today. But anyways, don't worry about it. It's a good workout, I promise. Now, for the first exercise, what I did, just pull downs, right? And instead of just doing like the regular pull downs to the collarbone, I did almost like a, actually, I don't know, how, what, what was the name of this? I, I want to like give it its own name. Because I know when you press the bar up in the front and down in the back, it's called a Bradford press. And being that my name is Brad, maybe I give this one, this kid I will give its own name. You guys will see in the video. Uh, important thing here, key points to think about, keep your hands loose, cup them like ropes, pull with the elbow. Pull to the front, pull to the back, okay? Um, and just so you guys know, moving forward, all these exercises are done in a set rep fashion of four sets, 10 to 20 reps. And this is just, it's because of the volume thing for me for back because my back is one of my biggest lagging body parts, as you guys should already know. So I'm trying to try more volume instead of heavier weight because previously I've done everything heavy. And it, I've, I've seen growth, um, but I haven't seen like definition I haven't seen a pop so my goal here is to just switch up my training not necessarily that higher volume is gonna make your back pop more because for you or you know for the other guy watching the video there's more than one person watching this video they might get a different effect but for me personally I know what I've been doing so I know what I need to change to try to get a different effect right so higher volume second exercise I move to the lying uh, chest supported dumbbell row, and as you guys can see here, I'm thinking about pulling the weight um, up and out. So I'm not pulling the weight straight up. You guys can see as I'm laying down, I'm not pulling the weight straight to like my nipples, for example, like, you know, nips, nips slip all day, but I'm not pulling to my nipples, I'm pulling the weight up and out. And I'm really trying to contract my mid back at the top, okay? Again, same thing. Four sets, 10 to 20 reps, depending on how you guys feel. Um, Third exercise. Third exercise. Is the, the what was the third exercise? The pull down. Third exercise. What was the pull? That was a pull over. Straight arm pull down. Pull over. For the third exercise, is like the straight arm cable pull down. Right? So I have to say a little bit further back. You guys have seen me do this in previous videos. And what, the, what you should be focusing on here is again, keeping your hands loose and keeping your elbows in the same position all the way throughout. So as you're doing it, you don't want to be going like this. Boom, and extending. All right, you want to be coming straight up and down. Think about contracting with the lats, all right? So you don't want it to be a, a movement of the elbow because then you're just going to involve a lot of your tricep. You guys will feel your tricep in this, especially when you first do this movement because your, your triceps are stabilizing your elbows to keep your elbows in one spot. And if you guys go too heavy, you definitely will involve your elbows and your triceps as you press down. But try and keep the weight a little bit lighter. Just focus on squeezing your back. Like as you pull down, pull your chest up. You guys can see me do that in this video. Now, next exercise is the dumbbell pullovers. And this has become one of my favorite exercises for back because um, of the stretch that you get from it. Um, and you guys can see in this video as I'm doing it, I'm trying to get the weight as far back as I can. And the same thing, the same concept with the, the pullovers or the pull downs with the, with the rope, you want to keep your elbows as much of in a stable position as possible. So again, you don't want to be doing the pullovers, you don't want to be extending as you come out, you want to just keep the, the weight and the movement on your lap. So it's almost like you guys can feel the stretch and you don't want to pull the weight all the way up over because then you'll lose the contraction in the lap. Damn, sounds like a damn... You got spiders here, dude. Does that sound like a spider? I don't know. Do spiders make sounds like that? I don't know. Can they hear that? They must have heard that. Cause you got a mic on this camera. Cause like quality just can't go like this guy. Just, just gets... Cause he's quitting. Anyways, whatever. Um, final exercise is a, it's like a traditional barbell row, but I just did it with a little bit of wider grip. Um, again, so guys, when you're doing this, think about keeping your thumb, like a thumbless grip. So that you guys are contracting really hard on the bar and you're able to focus on your lats and your upper back. For me, when I'm doing this, and I'm thinking about letting my shoulder blades get pulled apart and pulling my shoulder blades all the way back together at the finish. So you guys can see me in the bottom position. Again, too, whenever you do any kind of rolling movements or any kind of movement like 
deadlifts or anything where the, the bar you're picking it up from the floor, you want to make sure the bar stays as flush to your body as possible so that you don't involve your lower back. Right? So you kind of sit back into like a, a position here, almost like the top of a deadlift position, the waist kind of on your heels. And think about pulling the bar in to your hips so that you, you, get, you get away from keeping the bar out here and you keep the bar close to your body. Okay? That's it for this workout. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Like a really big thumbs up, like bigger than that. Yeah, there you go. Okay? And for everyone who gives me like one thumbs down or two thumbs down in the beginning, like, fuck you. Okay? I'm tired of that shit. Like, who comes to watch the video in the first like two minutes and only watch the whole video and they give it a thumbs down? Like, who does that? It's my mouth. Ugh. <laughs> who does that? Who seriously, who does that? Anyways, I'm not gonna get caught up in that, but. Make sure you guys give us some love, cause, cause, cause I need it. Cause I need it. I'm breaking down today. Today was a rough day. Today was a rough day. A lot of stuff hit me today. I was like, man, this is rough. So anyways, you know, support me. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Hope you guys liked it. Snapchat, Instagram, YouTube. This is YouTube. We don't gotta say that again. Oh, also, something I'm trying that's different, that's new. Um, I mean, I feel like I'm afraid to say this because once I say this, then everybody's gonna be like, <laughs> I'm gonna put it in the video anyways. Uh, because I, <laughs> like, I do so many different social media things, but this one, like, I actually like it. I did it last night for like an hour uh, on the internet. It wasn't you porn, it was uh, you now. Okay, so make sure you guys check me out on you now. It's you now.com slash Bradley Mark. Live stream, it's fun. Um, it's really easy to like answer a bunch of questions. But, anyways, Go sign up. You know, it's only $9.95 a month. I'm just kidding. It doesn't cost anything. Um, anyways, see you guys soon. I appreciate you. And uh, every day is arm day. Except today was for back. So, technically arm day. It involved my arms. My arms were like a part of the movements. And I'm going to go hit arms right now. So, see you guys soon. He's lying. He's going to come back in a second. In less than five seconds. He's back. Are you still coding? <laughs> you fucking asshole!